So I wanted to go over this comment that I got from a woman because this is an example of a comment that women in particular leave quite often on my page. So I would, this is how it works. I would do a video on a particular topic as it pertains to attracting women and giving advice based on stuff that I have seen actually work both for myself and other guys and people that I've coached, right? And then so a woman will come to the platform and say something like this, this is terrible advice. So in this example, I did a video called Let's talk about that after date text. And in this video, basically I said that sending an after date text, I found based on experience is not actually necessary. And in fact, I have found that sending an after date text oftentimes makes you look needy and desperate. And even if you're not trying to be that way, it doesn't usually result in a woman being more attracted to you. I have found more often than not, it starts to make the woman actually lessen her communication. Because picture this, you go on a date, you have a good time, as soon as you get in the car or as soon as you drop her off, 30 minutes later, you're hitting her up. That reeks of a guy that's desperate to try to please her. And I have found that when you're trying, when, when women get the read that you're purposely trying to please them, it makes them feel uncomfortable. So I just found when I stopped doing that, that women responded a lot better. I got more second dates and third dates and hookups and got into relationships and it worked out great. So then this woman says this, she sees this video and says, oh, no, no, no. I, he's trying to tell guys a bad thing. So I got to tell people this is terrible advice. I would think that the person is playing games if he did this. So let's unpack that, okay? Let's say hypothetically you went out on a date with this girl, right? And you, at the end of the date, said I had a great time. You gave her a hug, you walked to your car, and then you didn't send this after date text, right? Let's say she thought to herself, hey, he didn't send a text to me. He must be playing games. The question is, would this lessen her attraction for you? And the answer that women don't want to hear is that if this woman was highly interested in the guy, your inaction of not texting her would not make her like you less. If anything, it would make her wonder why it is you're not texting her. At which point, you know what she'd do next? And again, she's going to disagree with me on this point. But what she would most likely do next, and, and this is me based on me having interviewed women for 20 years now and for actually dating them and doing this stuff, is they will go to their girlfriends and say, hey, so-and-so is not texting me. I wonder why that is. Let us talk about him for the next hour and a half and figure out what is possibly going on in his head. And you know what's going to happen during that hour and a half as she's talking about you more and more? She's going to be subconsciously thinking, if I'm talking this much about this guy, it must mean that I like him. Oh, please, God, let him reach out to me and ask me out again. And this is for a few reasons. One, because if she likes you, she doesn't want like the idea that she's getting rejected. She's going to be sitting there hoping that what she's thinking in her head is not true, which is that you don't like her or you're playing games. And so at the point that you do decide to hit her up, the response most women are going to give is not going to be, hey, you, why did you wait so long? Why are you playing games? What the response is typically going to be if she likes you is, oh my God, I'm so happy to hear from you. Let's go out again. And so this is an example of something that, again, women cannot admit to themselves because on a conscious level, it sounds dumb. On a conscious level, a woman's going to be thinking, well, based on what I've learned in society, uh, if a guy isn't texting me right away after a date, I should be mad. I should be upset. I should be mad that he's playing games. But as I found, as I explained in this video, the opposite happens. The opposite happens in terms of like what happens is that when I would hit up girls four or five days later, instead of texting them back after a date, you know what happened? They'd be so happy to see me. They'd be so happy to hear from me and be like, oh my gosh, it's so great to hear from you. Let's go out again. And then I would find go on that second date, that third date, and lo and behold, we're making out, we're hooking up, all these other things that are the opposite of this woman being mad. Because here's the thing, guys, this is, the, again, this is the thing that women cannot tell you consciously, right? Is that if you give them any kind of feeling, that is better than them feeling nonchalant about you. So is it better for you as a guy to give this woman what she wants and say, you know what? Women don't want me to play games. I'm gonna text them after a date. And, and because that's, that's a nice guy thing to do. And now you're predictable, you're easy to calculate, and you give her no feeling versus the feeling in the moment of, is he playing games? Oh my God, I'm so mad. Her feelings are high, but then maybe he has stuff to do. Her feelings are low. Oh, I'm so confused. Now she's anxious. All that does is create three different emotions in her. You are making her feel three different things, which subconsciously to her is going to make her think, 
if he's making me feel these three different things, it must mean that I like him. And this is what I call like the dark side of dating that people don't want to talk about is that as a guy, you trying to do every single thing to please a woman is actually going to cause her to head for the hills. And this is a lesson I had to learn the hard way because when I was in my college days, I would do exactly what she's talking about. I would try to, you know, walk girls back to their dorm and then I would, as soon as I get back to my dorm, I would call them and make sure they were still okay. Then I would text them the next day, hey, just wanna tell you again what a great time I had on this date. You know what happened to all those women? Crickets, they stopped seeing me. And then once I smartened up and started doing a thing like, I take them on a date, show them a good time, drop them off, and then leave them alone. You know what happened that I didn't think was gonna happen initially? More dates, more conversations. And then sometimes I'll say that last part and the women will say, well, those women must have been toxic, really, all women. So every woman that this has ever worked on ever has been a toxic woman. And the answer to that is no. The reality is women are feelings-based people. They need to feel a thing about a guy in order to actually want to date him. And those feelings, sorry to say guys, don't always have to be positive. Sometimes they do need to feel doubt. They do need to feel anxiousness. They do need to be apprehensive or nervous about if you're gonna call them. They need to be able to feel anticipation to want to hear from you again. This feelings experience is what they ultimately need subconsciously to make themselves believe that being with you is their choice. You know, it doesn't work when you're, they're hit, you're hitting them up all the time, which makes them feel as though you're now forcing them to feel things for you and you're forcing them to have conversations with you, which results in them suddenly losing interest. And this girl will probably not admit that, but she could probably, if she was real realistic with herself, she could probably think back on all the times when guys are trying to be there for nonstop and trying to text her and call her after a date and she's dating none of those guys anymore. So you can't listen to women when they say this. And I got a bunch of women in various comments under videos that'll say things like, you know, oh, I would never fall for that. And so if, if uh, I found out that a guy was playing games and the reality is, all women have dated guys at one point that have played games, but because that because she liked the guy, she hoped to God that the game was going to be played in her favor. Because ultimately, women actually want a guy that knows how the game is played. Why? Because women have a leg up in playing the game way earlier than guys do, because when we're going through puberty, we're not thinking about how this is gonna work. We're just thinking, oh, girls say I should text after date, so I should do that. And then we can't figure out why it is that all the girls that we text after dates no longer want to date us, you know? So keep in mind, guys, at the end of the day, women that are straight, don't have to go through the exercise of figuring out what they need to do to actually attract other women. We do. So you might read this thinking, huh, she said that what Harry said is terrible advice. I should not follow that. She is not in the habit of dating women. Therefore, she, as well-meaning as she is, does not have good advice. Versus, I've done this for years and it's worked on a plethora of women and the guys that I've coached have come back and said, hey, I stopped sending after-date texts and guess what? Now she wants to jump my bones. So, you listen to guys that actually get results or women that are hoping that what they're telling you works, even though in the real world, it does not. Guys, it's your choice.